Welcome to another edition of Take a Step. That quiz program designed specially for students in secondary schools to test your knowledge on general subjects. And we have two students with us today playing for who will take the most steps on the program. It is Take a Step and I am Moses Humphrey, the quiz master. T playing for who will take the most steps today on the program, we have Mesho Nathaniel and Onyekosola Salami. Put your hands together for them. We'll take a very quick break and when we come back they'll be out here to play the crossword puzzle and then the quiz. Take a Step is a production of NTA Educational Television. NTA Educational Television. Promoting learning. All right, so we're here to play the crossword puzzle. Why don't you take a step? You have 40 seconds to cross as many words as you can find on the other side of the sheet. Your 40 seconds starts now. Pick up the markers and start crossing. You're looking for some colors of the rainbow. The words there are red green, blue, yellow, and purple. Tick, tuck. Tick, tuck. Your time is up. We have a uh, one, two, three, four, five. Put your hands together for her. And also, Nathaniel has one, two, three, four, five. Put your hands together for him as well. Okay. I'll be starting off with you, Nathaniel. And we'll be starting off with English. Why don't you take a step? You are to choose the word nearest in meaning to the underlined word, and I will tell you what the underlined word is. You have questions one to five to pick from. So how do you play? Question one. The underlined word is malicious. Your question is this. He's a malicious young man. Options are A, jealous, B, handsome, C, Full of evil intentions. B. B. Handsome. Wrong answer. Uh, <laughs> wrong answer. The right answer is C. Full of evil intentions. <laughs> so if I called you malicious, hey, you're a malicious young man. You say I'm thinking you're handsome? What? <laughs> Nathaniel. All right. Onyikosola. On Pick a number for me. Number four. Number four. The proud hare was outstripped by the tortoise. The underlined word here is outstripped. Options are A, beaten in a race. B, undressed. C, ridiculed. C. C, ridiculed. Wrong answer. The right answer is A, beaten in a race. <laughs> Your time is up. Question number five. 
Your question now. Number two. Number two. Question number two. The underlined word is marrow. Here is your question. Animal marrow is delicious. Options are A, fatty substance in bone. B, fatty flesh. C, liver. A. A, the fatty substance in bone. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. All right, take that step on the red. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Number five. The underlined word is nightmare. I could not sleep soundly last night because I had a nightmare. Options are A, headache. B, horrible dream. C, fever. B. B, horrible dream is the right answer. Put your hands together for her. Go ahead, take the step. And so we move on to mathematics. Why don't you take a step? On to mathematics, how do you play? Nathaniel. Question two. Question two. Twelve men complete a job in nine days. How many men working at the same rate will be required to complete the job in six days? A, 12. B, 9. C, 18. Please, the options again. A, 12. B, 9. C, 18. B. B, 9. The answer is C, 18. Your question now, Oni. Question three. Question three. The median of the set of numbers four, nine, four, thirteen, seven, fourteen, ten, seventeen is what? A, 13, B, 19, over 2, C, 7. Options again. A, 13, B, 19, over 2, C, 7. 13. Pardon? The answer is... is the answer is... Oops. And there goes the bell. 13 was the wrong answer. The right answer is B, 19 over 2. Your question now. One. Question 1. After getting a raise of 15%, a man's new monthly salary is 345 Naira. How much per month did he earn before the increase? Options are A, 330 Naira, B, 300 Naira, C, 360 Naira. After getting a raise of 15%, a man's new monthly salary is 345 Naira. How much per month did he earn before the increase? Should I give you the options again? A, 330 Naira, B, 300 Naira, and C, 360 Naira. B. B, 300 Naira. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. Take the step. Your question now. Question five. Question five. Write the decimal number. 39 to base 2. Options are A, 111001, B, 100101, and C, 100111. 
B. B. 100101. Final answer. That's the wrong answer. The right answer is C. 100111. <laughs> we move away from mathematics. We now go on to biology. Why don't you take a step? Moving on to biology. Nathaniel, pick a number for me. Number one. Number one. There are dash sense organs in the human body. A, five. B, six. C, four. Five. Five. Are you sure? Yes. Put your hands together for him. Right answer. <laughs> Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Question two. Question two. An involuntary or automatic action in response to impulse initiated by a stimulus is known as what? A. Reflex action. B. Voluntary action. C. Conditional reflex. A. A. Reflex action. Right answer. <laughs> Go ahead. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Your question now. Five. Question five. The brain is protected by the A skull, B hair, C scalp. A. A, the skull. Right answer. Put your hands together for him. <laughs> Take the step. Congratulations to you. Question four. Question four. The cerebellum is a thick and convoluted portion of the A, skin, B, hindbrain, C, ear. B. B, hindbrain. Put your hands together for her. Right answer. <laughs> go ahead, take the step. We now go on to economics. Number one, an example of an indirect tax is what? A, sales tax, B, profit tax, C, poll tax. C. Poll tax. Wrong answer. The right answer is A, sales tax. Your question? Question two. Question two. A good indicator of economic development is an increase in what? A, real national income. B, per capita income. C, gross national product. A. A, real national income. Wrong answer. The right answer is B, per capita income. <laughs> Your question now. Pick a number. Four. Question four. The activities in the oil and gas industry are classified into what? A, upstream and downstream. B, onshore and offshore. C, discovery and extraction. C. C, discovery and extraction. Are you just guessing or you're sure of your answer? I'm sure. You're sure of your answer. Look at me and tell me you're sure of your answer. You are sure. Discovery and extraction is a classification in oil and gas industry. Okay. Well, I'm sure of my answer that that is not the answer. And the answer, my answer, is upstream and downstream. So you get to stay where you are for now. I'm sure of that, too. Your question now. Question five. Question five. Joint stock companies can raise funds from A, government, B, 
various sources. C. The capital market. E. Government. Wrong answer. The right answer is C. The capital market. It's it's a it's a joint stock company. Okay. And so we move away from economics. We now go on to vocation. Why don't you take a step? And we're looking at blacksmith. Blacksmithing, if you want to call it that. Pick a number for me, Nathaniel. A person treats and beats things out of steel. A person who treats and beats things out of steel is known as A, a blacksmith, B, a steelsmith, or C, a goldsmith. A. A, a blacksmith. Right answer. <laughs> Take the step. Your question now. Question two. Question two. A person who treats and beats things out of gold is known as A, blacksmith, B, steelsmith, C, goldsmith. C. Goldsmith, right answer. Put your hands together for her. Take the step. Congratulations to you. Bye. Question five. Which of these is the fuel used by blacksmiths? A. Kerosene. B. Fixed wood. C. Charcoal. This should be your question. Which of these is the fuel used by blacksmiths? Option. Options are A, kerosene, B, fixed wood, C, charcoal, the bell, already gone. Can't even give it, give it to you. The answer is charcoal. Your final question. Question four. Question four. Which of these metals is the most expensive metal used in jewelry making? Is it A, diamond, B, gold, C. Silver. B. Gold. The most expensive metal used in jewelry making. B. They say it's a girl's best friend. Ever heard the phrase? Well, there goes the bell. So uh, your chances are off, off the table already. But ever heard the, uh, ever heard the phrase, diamonds are a girl's best friend? You've never heard that phrase. Mm. Because diamond is pretty expensive. So the right answer is diamond. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the very next, which is profession. Why don't you take a step? Nathaniel, how do you play? Pick a number. Number one. Number one. We're looking at swimming as a profession, swimming. Question number one. A dash can help children learn to swim. A, a kickboard. B, a fish. C, a swimsuit. C. C, swimsuit, wrong answer. A kickboard can help children learn to swim. <laughs> Your question now. Question number two. Question number two. Introduction to water skills include kicking, bobbing, and dash. A, jumping into water. B, front and back floating. C, butterfly stroke. C. Butterf butterfly stroke. Wrong answer. The right answer is front and back floating. That's introduction into swimming. 
a butterfly st stroke is done when you n already know how to swim. Your question. Number five. Number five. A lifeguard equipment include a first aid kit, rescue aids, and a dash. A whistle. B boat. C animals. B. B boat. Wrong answer. The right answer is a whistle. Your question now. Question three. Question three. Butterfly and breast strokes are examples of A. Stroke improvement. B. Stroke. C. Stroke refinement. B. B. Stroke refinement. No, sorry, stroke. Stroke. Examples of stroke. Wrong answer. The right answer is A, stroke improvement. <laughs> and that's it for today. Put your hands together for our contestants. <laughs> Let's meet here. All right, that's it on the show today. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, our contestants will be presented with your gift items. Why don't you take us there? All right, that's it on the show today. It's been between Mesho Nathaniel and Unikosola Salami with Mesho Nathaniel taking a, a little bit, a, a little more steps than um, Unikosola. Well, this goes to you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for participating. And this goes to our winner today. Congratulations to you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. Well, take a step. Makes a return same time next week. But hey, Catch up on all the episodes of Take a Step. Visit our YouTube channel at NTAE TV. And I have these, these words for you. The words of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Wheeling is not enough. We must do. My name is Moses Humphrey, the quiz master. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Stay.